Hello everyone and finally welcome back to the processing tutorials here on YouTube. Now between the last video and this video there has been a break of around uh, 8 to 10 months so you may notice a few differences in uh, possibly the sound quality the way I speak or something like that um, but the only thing that there is to say is that I'm sorry that it has taken so long. Um, but hopefully you will learn something from these new videos. Um, and I have a few more planned uh, and they will be coming soon. So in this video, um, the way we left it was with the ball bouncing from left to right at the top of the screen. Now, for the game that I've got planned, the ball should be bouncing up and down. So now we're going to change um, this bouncing to be in the uh, vertical axis instead of the horizontal axis. The first thing we have to do is to change these variables so instead of x they read y. Although the names of the variables are not important for the functionality, it is better if we call them y and dy so that then we know that they are actually the y-axis variables and not the x-axis. So remember we can call them whatever we want but it is better if they have descriptive names. And then here instead of drawing the ellipse at x 100 I'm going to draw the ellipse at let's say 500 y. So this is going to place the ball 500 up on the x-axis and then at 100 up on the y-axis. Instead of x plus equal dx, this is going to be y plus equal dy. Instead of x plus 25 greater than width, it's going to be y plus 25 greater than height, and y minus 25 less than 0. Finally, dy times equal minus 1. Another ball, as we can see, is bouncing up and down. So the thing to take away from this video is that it is important to have self-descriptive variables and that is why we've changed the name of them and then that it's important to know what each of your uh, lines or statements does so that you can then change them easily uh, and knowing that your program is going to work. In the next video, we're going to transfer some functionality into a ball class, and I'm going to explain all of that in the very next video. But for now, we're just bouncing up on the vertical axis instead of the horizontal axis, and it's been quite a short and concise video. I'll see you in the next one.